So I made it for free, you know, so that a black person, a black child can get here and learn for free. This is what we're talking about, a free education. So I, I, I think I've executed it through, through this five-day um, workshop. Uh, someone who can't afford to go to school, they can get in a taxi and be here. Because if I make it like late in the evening, there will be no, they cannot afford like things like transport, like Ubers and all that. Sanmonan Babugeli, Umbuzin, Duam Kizze, Uspak Pomis, and Bill to Sesomanda Zabuki Samakadu, Chamantin, that's a Kubakolo Gitun, that there was not to Gali long, Peter Bazons and Abasun Satan, Umbuzin, Loaram Kizze, Okulumaskandi, Jagubangi Lapa, Sesabens and No Putupili, Kogutis Zofundisa, Ingani is King. And it's just been the most incredible experience, you know. Um, what Billy's done is just, it's, um, it's something I, I, I hope everybody can experience so that we can all start to kind of rejoin that history and, and, and start building those memories again, which I think was his main objective. But I mean, he did it in, in, in such style and, and, you know, the, the opportunities that I've had in order, you know, to play with, with with real living legends, you know, Temba Mukwena and... I think for me to make music was probably uh, an inherent thing. You grew up in an environment, you grew up, grew up in a society that's surrounded by music. I was born in Shantytown, the Plate. And now, being born in Shantytown, I would be hearing music on a regular basis. But most influence, influential coming from the question that you raise about drumming. My drumming was inspired and motivated by traditional healers. As a four-year-old child, I would be hearing traditional healers opposite my home. And this, this uh, generous man who'd say to me, That's how my drumming began.